All right, guys, so we made it to Stabanger. <laughs> I'm just joking. We're here in Stavanger. Just uh, our first first few minutes here. And we thought the first stop that we're gonna do is gonna be the, the culture slash history museum of Stavanger. So uh, let's, let's go inside and see what they have. Oh, <laughs> well, look at that. As you walk up, you can see a gigantic, oh my God, skeleton of a whale. How cool is that? Wow. I don't know if you can touch it, but I, I just did. Wow, this thing is massive. Look at that. Look at the spine on this thing. Wow. Just keeps on going and going and going. There we are. This would be the, the tail. And it is real, I, I'm assuming. Looks pretty real to me. Sort of porous. No, it's definitely real, boys. Wow, look at that. There you are. <laughs> A skeleton off. A North Sea whale from who knows when. Wow. You know, you never get to see that. I mean, when do you see a whale? But then when do you see a, when do you see a skeleton of one? Wow, look at that. And what is this? This is some sort of gills or what is this? No. Beast. Look at that. Here's the big boy. I never, you know, I never realized that they're so huge. I never seen one in real life. Wow. So I guess this is where the, the eyes would sit. Wow, look at that. Look at that. All right, well, let's go in. Let's go in. Really excited already. Oh, and there's a little stone here. Let's check out what that is. This looks kind of cool. Let's see if there's any runic inscriptions on it or... Oh, look at that. That is interesting. Sort of reminds me of a... This is a cross, I think. Maybe this is a... An ancient cross from when Norway was transitioning into Christianity from being pagan. Very interesting. We'll find out inside. All right, let's go. Okay. Welcome in. Let's check it out. Oh. So here we are, we walked in and the first thing we can see is this huge memorial cross. It says that it dates to 1028. And it was done by, for a local chieftain that lost his life in a battle with King Olaf. Look at that thousand euro cross right from the period when Nora was turning to Christianity. All right so this is actually not the history museum this is more of a museum of nature. Sometimes it's kind of hard uh, easy to get lost when you type in maybe museum of history it will actually lead you to a museum of culture or museum of nature it's a it's a little bit of wishy-washy so we actually ended up going into a nature museum which is also cool if you're a student by the way you get it for free <laughs> And then the archaeological one, which we're going to go to next, is only a three-minute walk away from here. So we will get to that shortly. But let's walk around and check this one out. Here you can see some of the animals that lived here in Norway. Um, one interesting thing, actually, the bear population of Norway is really small because in the 19th century they had a policy where they would... They wanted to hunt them down, I think, just to decrease the, the death rate from the attacks. And they sort of overdid it. And there was barely any bears left in Norway. And only recently have they started to um, to reintroduce them. But it's, it's going quite slow. So there's still barely any bears anywhere in Norway. Only really to the north um, by, the, by the polar latitudes there. But, you know, these, these little bears would run around here a few hundred years ago. Here's some 
birds that you could find in the surrounding areas. There are some little birdies that flew around, flew around here. As you can see, there's a large variety of all sorts of uh, canneries and whatnot. Owls, look at that. That was beautiful. Again, we see another whale skeleton right here. Wow, these things are huge. Yes. This is quite interesting. And this is a little room dedicated to the process of birth. <sighs> there you go. You, you can look at the uterus and uh, mm. experience. different. Okay, miracle of life. It's kind of neat. See more skeletons here. Here's the one of a pig in this nest horn past a horse. Red deer. It's kind of neat. Some turtles. This is pretty cool. Look at that. Look at that. Walrus. Here we have a war hog. Falcon. These are neat. Look at these big boys. Different antlers. There's one for moose and reindeer. Buffalo. Oh. And this here is a skeleton of a African elephant. Look at that. Wow. That's a sturdy, sturdy skeleton. As you can see, the. Uh, Ivory's gone. The hooves are gone, but based. Look at that. Here we have a skeleton of a of a dolphin, and then of a killer whale. Wow. Look at how complex nature makes makes us. It's fascinating. Oh, and this is neat. Look at this whole different types of marine animals that I imagine can be found around the coast here. Beautiful. It's very, very cool. These thing right here, I forgot the name, but um, they're, they're billions of years of old. All right, correction, not billions of years old, but half a billion years old creatures. They're 445 million years old species that haven't evolved much for the last 200 million years. So what you see is what dinosaurs would have been stomping on when they were roaming the earth. These guys are 200 million years older than dinosaurs and they survived the extinction of the dinosaurs. So. Very, very ancient species, basically walking fossils. But what makes them really special is their blood. It contains a special uh, chemical instead of iron and has copper. And so their blood actually appears blue. But what makes it so special is that scientists all over the world rely on it to test um, medicine and instruments for contamination before using them on people making horseshoe crab blood the most one of the most valuable um, substances in the world hey guys and i just walked into this little room and i 
I want to show you the exhibition they have here. It's quite unique, I think. You know, I thought that was pretty cool because as you can see there, there's a bunch of different skulls of different mammals. Humans are mammals as well. So it just, um, and by transposing the faces of humans on these skulls, you know, you get a different perception of, um, of these, of these um, skulls. And it just makes it a very interesting impression on how close we are to different animals and how much we share. And, um, I thought it was really neat. Awesome, and now we're in the last room, which is the, the cultural room. It shows um, different culture clothes of Norwegian people from different uh, regions over the years. So let's check it out. Wow, look at that. What a beautiful culture. This is amazing how vibrant, how vibrant the artwork and designs are. And um, I'm sure a lot of you, like I did for myself, will be amazed by the similarities you might see with some of, in some of these designs with your own culture, maybe Eastern European or Central European. You know, looking at, looking at where, uh, can tell us a lot about history and how people communicated between each other. And this is something that we can see in these traditional clothes. Here you have traditional clothes from all over the world. We just saw Azerbaijan, Pakistan, what is this? Venezuela, India, Albania. It's really quite interesting. Here's a little glimpse on old Norwegian furniture. Beautiful, like just look how complex the furniture was. Why can't we have this stuff today? Look at the carvings and embroidery. Wow. And this is, this is quite unique. Look at this. This is a little, little scene of what life in Stavanger would look like in 1800. See much different. Much more simple. A lot of things were made out of wood. As you see, there's ample amount of wood all around us. Pine and other trees and birch. And so they would carve out all these things out of beautiful, beautiful furniture pieces out of wood. And this would be what, what Norwegian would see every day waking up in 1800. Yeah, some more. Some more traditional artifacts let's see what year is this again 18th century it looks like so these are norwegian artifacts of the time it's kind of neat and here you can see a wealthy middle class family in stavanger somewhere around 1814 this is what you know a daily daily life would look like for them so quite extravagant clothes and and furniture some some paintings of the family members 
It's beautiful, really. Look at that. A little window into history of what Stavanger used to look like. All right, guys, so we just exited the, uh, the Culture Museum in Stavanger. I mean, it was interesting. You know, it's not a big museum. There's uh, not a whole lot to see. There's, there's a few stuffed animals. I mean, I would probably, you know, one visit is probably enough. But it was kind of neat, you know, I like how they tied in a lot of things together. Like they showed different clothes, uh, different attires of different um, nationalities. And, and you can sort of make your own connections. Of where do you see the cultures inter interacting? And the similarities between different cultures. So it was, it was neat to see. And it, it, it was really neat to see some of the skeletons of the local animals. Like the whales and the... And the dolphins so you know if you have the time and especially if you have kids i think they would enjoy that but we are off to the uh to the next one which is actually called the archaeology museum and i think that's where you want to go if you want to see some some of the ancient history from norway let's check it out